Hey everyone, welcome to In a Pinch with Hitsu Zen. I'm Hitsu Zen from SnuffHouse.com. All names have been changed to protect the innocent. Alright, so as promised, today we are reviewing Old Mill, Old Mill Bananas Foster. Uh, this stuff has been teasing me from my nightstand for two days now. Um, I was sick and I wanted to try it. I could have tried it, but I know I wouldn't have enjoyed it because I could barely taste the uh, the food I was eating, let alone the snuff I was taking. Um, the pumpkin pie review worked because it's all spices that open you up. Um, so they, they, they were actually relieving and soothing and delicious uh, on a sore throat and a clogged sinus. Um, but this one, uh, I wanted to make sure I had a fresh palate for it. Um, I'll be trying it fresh. I have not tried it yet. This is a uh, fresh tin. I can't say it's unopened because I have been opening it from time to time uh, to smell it because it, it just it smells so damn good. Um, so I got the uh, the large tin. Uh, doesn't look like an enormous tin if you're not uh, accustomed to Old Mill. Uh, if you are accustomed to Old Mill, you'll know that his snuffs are absolutely packed into these tins. I mean, if you can see on the camera, it's it's like dried mud almost. It's packed so tight as you go about using it, um, it'll just slowly decompress and decompress and decompress and it'll feel like you're you're, you're working on a tin that, that just doesn't end. Um, so right off the bat, the grind, uh, it's a little bit more fine than any of Old Mill's other fruit snuffs have been. Um, it's not as fine as his uh, his toasts are, uh, but eh, kind of in the middle. Um, as you can see, it's uh, it's a dark brown. Um, as with all of his snuffs, it's it's very moist. Um, I already know that this stuff will uh, will pill very well. Um, oh, this is exciting, man. This stuff smells so good. Uh, so from, from the tin. Bananas. Nuts. And, uh, maybe something a little bready. Uh, my, my wife actually said, uh, that this, this stuff smells like, uh, banana nut bread. And I, I, I agree with her. Uh, at least out of the ten, that is straight up uh, banana nut bread. Uh, the banana is awesome. Um, I mentioned in my uh, my review last night that I'm not a fan of fruity snuffs and I'm not a fan of floral snuffs, but uh, but Old Mill seems to kind of be the exception for me with the uh, the fruity snuffs at least. Um, he manages to to get the actual flavor of the fruit down better and and real fruit is never candy sweet um it is sweet but it's not like candy sweet like i'm eating a uh what are those called smarties in the rolls um which, which most of the other fruit snuffs i've had by just about anybody else have kind of a, a candy sweet uh flavor to them it doesn't really taste like fruit a good example with uh with old mill getting a balance of actual fruit flavor was uh, the kind of blue that came out uh, early in the summer um, with the uh, the blueberry. That's what blueberries taste like, and, and I know blueberries because I like blueberries, and that's what they taste like. This smells like a natural banana. Sweet, yeah, but but not like, not candy sweet. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to uh, loosen up a layer on the top because, again, this stuff, it it's just... Is always packed in, uh, so tight. I usually with these, I I start loosening them up, kind of in the middle, and then as time goes on, I can scoop some down from the sides, and and like I said, it, it kind of has the effect of almost uh, the tin that never ends. So, all right, got some loosened up. Gonna take a pinch. Uh, I'm going to let that pinch warm for a few seconds between my fingers before dumping that pinch into a boxcar. While it warms, I want to explain the reason I'm wearing my town coat in the house uh, is because I have a window open over here. 
and a door open over there uh, to give me a cross breeze. Some snuffs are best enjoyed uh, with, with fresh air. Um, I'm sure you guys have noticed. You'll take a pinch and then you'll walk outside and you'll notice like 10 other things about the, uh, the scent that you didn't pick up on when you were sitting inside. So I figured, you know, to give it a, a good, honest uh, first impression review, I'd get a cross breeze going, despite the fact that it's like 55 degrees outside, ergo the, the coat. Um, anyways, so I'm going to loosen my pinch into a box cart. There we go. Yeah, this stuff is really moist. Um, I probably could have honestly just taken a pinch and it would have pilled up. Uh, really nice. All right. Salud. Oh, no, that's interesting. That's interesting. All right, so first impression in the nose, the first thing I notice isn't even any of the flavorings. The first thing I notice is one of the tobaccos. Um, Burleys uh, can create usually one of three uh, distinct flavor profiles in a snuff, and, and here's where knowing how to match your uh, tobacco bills with your, uh, with your uh, casings, essences, or flavorings. Uh, really is kind of an art. Um, Burleys can produce either a cocoa flavor, a spice, or a bready kind of flavor. Uh, if you guys have had uh, Chef Daniel's Ivory Toast, you know that that, that stuff is pretty close to rye bread. Uh, the smell in your nose is very bready. Um, uh, I think he mentioned two Burleys in this. Um, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm going to read his description after I give my impression. Um, but definitely, so bread's the first thing I notice. Um, rye bread. The second thing I notice is is uh, butter and sugar. But the sugar could also be because of the Golden Virginias he has in it. Uh, good Golden Virginias have a high sugar content, um, which... Uh, uh, which is why if you've had the uh, the pure Virginia toast or really any uh, any uh, uh, Virginia snuffs out there, uh, uh, um, they have almost a graham cra crackery flavor and a natural sweetness to them. Um, what I'm picking up isn't so much a sugary sweetness as it is uh, the the graham crackery sweetness that comes from uh, from good golden uh, Virginias. Um, so yeah, interestingly enough, the first the first things that I noticed right away are actually the the tobacco bill. Um, after that is, um, and I'm not sure in what order I I noticed them, but but simultaneously, uh, banana. Um, I still think I smell nuts. It 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 could easily be that that I'm smelling banana and bread and. So in my in my head, you know, banana nut bread, because that's exactly what the stuff smells like in the tin. Um, but yeah, like a like a walnut, almost, but like a sweet walnut. You know, when I first read the description of this, and 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 uh, we were all waiting for it to come out, I was picturing this as being more of a dessert snuff. I I could use this all day. Um, I have a hard time seeing getting sick of it. Um, the nicotine's there. It's not overwhelming. Um, I'm not going to mention nicotine co content too often in these videos. Um, at this point, it's kind of an afterthought to me. Uh, when I started snuffing, it was a really big deal. Um, I was coming off of a really heavy vaping habit, and and it's funny when you get into vaping, uh, how you don't realize the amount of nicotine that you're consuming throughout the day. Um, so coming on to snuff, I needed high nicotine snuffs. Uh, toast and scotches served me very well. I still like both, but it's not because of the nicotine anymore. Um, I can already feel the nicotine from the Burleys. That's usually pretty quick. Uh, Golden Virginia does have a nicotine content, and uh, Chef Daniel kind of played that down on Snuff House when he was uh, when he was introducing Pure Virginia Toast, uh, telling people it's not a it's not a nicotine bomb, you know, which is true, but. 
but there there is nicotine from Golden Virginia. It's just usually delayed a little bit. Um, anyways, back to the scent. Uh, gosh, it's so weird. Yeah, in the nose, banana is not the main player. It's 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 more of a supporting character to the tobacco bill. That's really cool. Um, this is what I dig about old mill snuffs. Uh, I I collect them. Um, I, at, at this point, I have a separate box just for keeping my old mill snuffs in. Um, um, I mean, he, he's a chef, you understand, salt flavors play on each other. Um, a good chef knows how to cook something well, even if it's not something that they personally like. They know how to make it to the likes of the person who would enjoy it. Um, I have very rarely been let down by old mill. You could practically take a dart and throw it at the menu and pick something that you're going to like. Um, the two that I really didn't like, actually, were two of his most popular ones with everybody else. Um, but I I tend to snuff the, the snuff deeper back to where I get uh, the throat drip, because I, for one, actually enjoy the throat drip, and I take that into account with the flavor profile. So when the, the feel is great, the scent is great, but the nose, the nose drip is bitter... Um, it kind of throws the whole thing off for me. Um, so, two of his snuffs, and I'm not going to call them out right now, but, but two of his snuffs, uh, to me, had a really bitter throat drip despite having a great, excuse me, a great initial scent. Um, but other than those two, I've, I've gotten, uh, I've, I've gotten snuffs from him that I thought would be, you know, mediocre at best, and I end up loving them. So, a little bit of a fanboy. Speaking of the back drip, uh, so there's there's the back drip. You can actually taste banana in it. That's crazy. Uh, usually can't taste the flavoring so much in the back drip. It's usually more the tobacco build you're getting. But I'd now that I got the back drip, I can smell the banana more than I could a minute ago. Yeah, this stuff's really good, guys. Uh, if you get it, try it outside, or at least next to an open window. Uh, it's really good stuff. Um, I said I'd read Chef Daniel's description of it. I got it over here on my uh, Android device. Um, all right, so he says, uh, ripe bananas are caramelized in hand-churned Amish butter from Kentucky and Brazilian Muscovado sugar. Then infused into black rum with molasses, vanilla beans, toasted allspice berries, a few strips of blood orange zest, and cinnamon sticks. After thorough maceration, this liqueur is strained and used to dress toasted Golden Virginia, Maryland, and Tennessee dark air cured burley. The scented leaf is Asian oak, air dried with a pinch of sea salt, then milled to a medium fine grind with medium moisture for all day or a perfect after dinner snuff. Alright, so. <coughs> um. I didn't, after reading that, I can pick up the vanilla a little bit, but honestly, without reading it, I'd, I wouldn't have picked up on the vanilla. Um, um, the the allspice, I, I don't get the allspice at all, although it could be part of what played into noticing the, uh, the burly right away. Um, now, mostly what I get out of it is... Uh, uh, the breadiness and sweetness that would come from the uh, the Burleys and the Golden Virginias, and then the banana and the impression of nut. And he he also doesn't list nut in there, but but I swear I my brain tells me that there's walnut. Anywho, uh, so those are my impressions. Uh, take them for what they're worth. Uh, snuff's funny like that. Uh, there's things I'll notice that other people won't. There's things other people will notice that I won't. Uh, that's also why I'm not going to use rating systems uh, for my videos. I'm not going to rate snuffs X out of 5 because uh, it could be something that, that I think is horrible that you're going to love, uh, vice versa. It could be something that I love that you're going to think is horrible. It could be something that I really don't like at all right now that I end up liking a whole lot down the road. Um, I actually embarrass myself on the forums with, uh, with Cafe Noir uh, writing a whole thing about how horrible I thought it was. Suck it in a drawer. Um, it sat for, for ages, pulled it out, uh, four or five months later, 
uh, took a pinch, and now I, I love this stuff. So uh, I won't be rating. Uh, my impressions are just my impressions. I'll explain my experience with it as best as I can. Um, I was going to announce a, uh, a uh, sub giveaway, but I am way over my time at this point. So I will release that in a separate video. Also tonight, I promise. Um, so uh, that's all I got for now. Snuff safe and salute.